And Joe, the biggest bright spot of this team that I hinted at before, I mean, the conversation around Francisco Lindor right now, all the hype is justified, warranted. There's going to be, I think, right down to the wire, a fascinating debate between him and Shohei Otani because there's no denying that Otani, from just an offensive standpoint, as a DH, is a 40-40 season before September is, what can you say about it, right? It's a remarkable feat of athleticism, the power, the speed, the kind of offensive player he is. But on the flip side, not only is Lindor having a great offensive year, looking for another 30-30 year, but this is a guy that is a 99th percentile defender at the most important position in the field, at shortstop, where Otani doesn't play the field. So I, I, I think, Joe, we are headed towards truly, like I think old school baseball people will look at Lindor and be like, well, he's a gold glove, he's a gold glove caliber shortstop that also produces offensively. He gets the nod because you could argue that's half of baseball, right? And then there's going to be the other side of people that go, what Shohei Otani is doing at the plate is really, really rare air that it has to be rewarded. I, I mean, as a Mets fan, I obviously want Lindor to win the MVP. I think this debate is really, really difficult. And just to think, one of these guys didn't make the All-Star team. I'll let you guess which one didn't. didn't well, I mean, that whole... Yeah. <laughs> you, it may, has there ever been a bigger joke of an All-Star no. situation? No, I, I can't think of one. But look, this Lindor Otani debate... The best part of it is that we are having a debate and that right. this that this that this even exists. Lindor is having an unreal season after an unreal season last year. Francisco Lindor is, you know, sad. Like if you just did, if April didn't exist as a month in the calendar, Francisco Lindor would be, you know, clearly one of the top five best players in the sport. Probably when you take the whole package and put it together, this where the debate is fun is. How much does defense get valued by voters, right? Like that's where, the, that's where the whole it? topic, right? It's yeah. like how much yeah. defense makes up the ground from Lindor's right. offensive numbers, which are great, to Otani's, which are in a category of its own. Yeah. Lindor do, like is almost lapped in every single offensive category by Otani, except for doubles. Lindor has more doubles than him, but everything else uh, Otani has. Way more homers, way more RBIs, way higher average, way better on bait. Like everything is not close except for doubles offensively. And what this award has come become is the best player award. It is not the most valuable player award. That's right. If if the Dodgers lost Otani, the Dodgers are still going to be really, really good. If the Mets lost Francisco Lindor, I don't one, I don't know who's even playing shortstop. That's regard like Iglesias every Iglesias? day, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but like, so from a value standpoint, the Mets' offense would crater to a, a pretty big degree without him. So from from the perspective of what the award should be, which is most valuable player, uh, I think Lindor has as good a case as as Otani does. If it's best player. These voters are going to have to weigh defense and offense essentially equally in order for Lindor to catch Otani.